Hey guys and gals, Nery here from Drake Wing Gaming. It's some of you mouse with the Gaming Dragon today. I'm coming back at you with a Let's Play episode of Roads Yet Traveled, Merrick's Path. So y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Alarm chain, you were up, and let's go. Yep. Oh yeah, we're also up to, uh, running uh, update 7.5, so the game is fully up to date now, as far as the public build goes. Let me see the... Oh, look at that. I don't know if I noticed this before. They have shadows behind the lettering. Fancy. That was the route we're talking. That was the route we're taking. Uh huh. And now we go back to where we started. Mm hmm. Nothing but gray walls. Pretty much. Oh, well, this sucks. Now you get it. Come on, quit yapping and start walking. We've got a few marks ahead of us before breakfast. B before breakfast, even? He turns heel and starts heading back the other direction. Seeing as how I have no other options, I follow. Is this really all you do? Just walk up and down empty halls? What? No. <laughs> what? No. Well, are you gonna explain? Huh, <laughs> do you? Eh, if I'm feeling generous, maybe after a few more passes. Are you serious? Looking at him for confirmation proves that it, proves it as he just stares ahead, eyeing every corner before turning away. Can you at least tell me where we are? I see that he's considering it, or maybe he's just wondering what my best way to shut me up is. It could be either knowing him. We're like two floors below where our rooms are, okay? But what actually goes on here? Uh, look, I know the floor name, the numbers of every room here, and how to get everyone out in case of an emergency. But otherwise, I've never actually been inside any of them. I think they're computer labs or something. I'm a bit disappointed, but I guess I can't be too upset. I don't think this is even his normal shift, so the fact he could tell me anything is pretty appreciated. With that, I decide to give him a break, as I don't want to push my luck. Even if we lived together now, I'd hate to just spend all day bothering him. After the fourth or maybe fifth time we finished the route, I began to see a few Karain uh, walk in the halls here and there. They seem mostly uninterested in us, or maybe they just don't notice me with my new jacket, which would be nice. The ones that do usually alert their friends or try to get past us as fast as possible. One came up to us before realizing I was there and bolted off. I think Merrick almost laughed at that, but I can't say for sure. After a few more loops, we take a quick stop for breakfast. Merrick quickly devours what he brought for himself before pulling up something on his monitor. You got five minutes, then we go back to work. Understand? Yeah, yeah, I get it. Um, looking at anything cool there? Huh? Like your reports. That's what you're reading, right? Oh. Uh, yeah. Reports. He quickly changes the screen he was looking at. Well? Remember what happened last time you asked me to read you something off my monitor? Do you need a reminder of how that worked out for you? If I remember correctly, I got what I wanted in the end. But fine, be like that. I was just looking for something to talk about. I don't think I didn't figure you'd be interested in scenery, huh? Take it down one time. Uh, and let me adjust the text speed. There we go. Okay. They just. Oh, I guess to tell me what time, what what uh, what day we're on. Okay, oh, fine. Be like that. Just looking for something to talk. Okay, right now. I gesture to the pale gray hallway and floors. Merrick doesn't look convinced, but I also don't think he's too interested in discussing the minutiae of the color choices around here. Huh. All right, let's just get back to work, and I'll humor one conversation. All right. Remember, we're not here. For, we're not here to have fun, Rius. This is my job. This is my job. What I've told you, I intend on doing, no matter the task. His little speech out of the way, he gets up and beckons me to follow. Is he seriously only going to let me ask one question? Hmm, better make him count. But what could I ask? I could ask about his job, but I already kind of know what he does. He's like a soldier or a security guard or something. Uh, okay, maybe I don't really know what he does. I mean, he's getting all these reports and... Oh, wait. I could try to talk to him about that thing Milo was talking about, but how? It sounded like it was a really touchy subject. Hey, Merrick, has the station, like, ever almost blown up before? Ugh, think, think! How can I phrase it so I can get a somewhat straight answer? Oh! Hey, Merrick? Hmm? What's the worst accident that's happened on the station? Had I not been on this route with him for a few marks now, I may have missed it, but despite his nearly perfect stride, he almost tripped. Coming to an intersection, he slows down and looks at me. Excuse me, Kit? What did you say? Oh, um, I was just curious. Surely you, you would know about it, right? If there was one, I mean. His glare cuts through me as he searches for some ulterior motive. 
There's no way he could have known that I overheard those two, but this just proves that what Milo was talking about wasn't some small accident. I can barely see his eyes as the light casts a shadow from his brow, but the reflection of his sharp teeth is enough. Well, it certainly seems like it was like it was the right question to ask, although I think I'm going to have to ask someone else if I want answers. I'm just trying to stay safe, you know? Just figured I'd try to avoid any repeat incidents if I can. Hm. Well, if you don't know, I could ask just another question. I thought of a few. Kit, I... He raises his hand up and rubs his brow with a paw, taking a moment to think something through. I don't know, Rius. I think a window blew out in an air pressure accident once. There's a lot of shit that happens around here, and I haven't been, I've been here for all of it, so... Look, can we get back to work now? Oh, sure. I guess I could ask Marilyn. It's been a few marks of this now. Besides the fact that my legs are starting to get a little sore, it's actually not that bad. Merrick, to his credit, even spoke up a few times without me even having to, even having to ask him to. Although most of the day has been spent in relative silence, just the sound of work boots and sneakers totting away on the floor. It might not be as interesting as the other two's job, but it's certainly something to do, and I'd still rather be out here than just in my room all day. The silence is still deafening, though, and when Merrick takes a short break to rest against the wall, I take my shot. Merrick? Hmm? Yeah? I know you explained earlier that sometimes your job is just walking up and down hallways aimlessly, but, like, what does the security team do exactly? Besides Rune, uh, you seem to be the one running about the most, and, well, I really can't understand why. Look, I told you, I make sure no one gets hurt. From what, though? From what? From anything, Rius. Accidents to altercations to aliens. My team and I just respond to reports and make sure everything is running smoothly. Oh, okay, so if there was, like, a spill somewhere, would you take care of that? Uh, no, that'd be janitorial. If the spill was something dangerous, we'd cordon off the area. How about if something breaks? Depends on what's broken. A light? That'd be his issue. A broken door? Maybe us. We'd at least direct people around it. So while the patrolling, man, would it just be easier to wait for something to happen? It's good practice, mainly, but it can be pretty important to have someone close by if anything does happen. And Kit, you get one more question. Don't think these come freely. Fine, but you can't really tell me that you, that you prefer silence over this. I can and I will. Anyway, I actually respond to some messages soon. So I won't be able to answer your questions. Oh, and also, that counted as your question. Wait, that's not fair! He just smiles and scoffs, pulling up his monitor to hide his face. Ugh, you suck! I think he's still smiling behind the projection, but I can't be sure. Sighing and looking around, I've started to notice that that maybe, that, that maybe some of this place is recognizable. Like, I can recognize the signs in the floor charts, at least. I bet I could even get back to my room from here. I don't have time to think more on it, though, as Merrick sighs and steps away from the wall, gesturing ahead as we continue our never-ending route. It must be the 25th or 26th or 6th mark by now. At lunch came and went. The people working here have already left for the day, and the hallways have gone dark. Looking around confirms that it's just dead empty here. I'm not even sure why we're still walking, to be honest. We could probably just relax for the rest of the shift, but I don't think Merrick got to where he is today by taking breaks. And Merrick says there's only a few more laps left, but at this point I'm already exhausted and I know that I'm going to be feeling exhausted tomorrow. I'm starting to understand how Sisyphus felt. And maybe also Kate Bush? Anyways, Merrick's barely said a word since I last talked to him. His dedication to being just truly impossible to approach is impressive, I'll give him that. But it's damn frustrating when I have nothing better to do. Okay, hell with the silence. Can we please talk about something? I'm dying here. Merrick! Hmm? Sorry I was considering letting you die of boredom, but I don't think Doc would be like that very much. Ugh, you are the worst today! But fine, we can talk. Shift's almost over anyways, but I get to ask the questions this time. Second like, you know, water time. Hmm. It's important to keep hydrated, y'all. That's fine by me. Good. Hmm. I don't think he had a question ready. Uh, so... You ever figure out how you got here yet? Uh, heh. I was kind of hoping someone else would tell me that honestly. Hmm. Waiting around won't do you any good. Merrick, I can't exactly go anywhere right now, and even if I could, I wouldn't even know where to start. This, is exact this isn't exactly a normal occurrence for me. Hmm. Fine. Still, it's fucking weird, right? I mean, people don't just appear out of thin air, and yet you kind of just did that, huh? Yeah, I don't even remember anything happening. I kind of just blinked and I was there. 
Honestly, I just thought I took a wrong turn. Pretty far from home for a wrong turn, kid. He looks at me out of the corner of his eye for a second before turning away and scratching behind his ears. I don't think Merrick has any ideas on how I got here. Not that anyone, not that anyone really does. Hmm, all right, one more. We'll call it done after this lap too, all right? So, uh, are you... You been sleeping better? I don't want another incident like last time. I could ask Doc about it if you wanted me to. I know he could probably figure something out for you. What? No, no, I'm, I'm good. It's been, uh, it's been better, yeah. Good, good. All right, you look like you're about to fall over. Let's head back. Giving him the limpest salute ever, I follow behind him through the last leg of our route. This part of the ship is desolate, as not a single crane passes us on our way back to our rooms. The pale light lulls me towards sleep. The growling from my stomach, the only thing keeping me going. I really hope the cafeteria still has food this late. Turning the corner past the library, I notice there's a crane waiting outside the door. Getting closer, I can see that it's actually... Rius, there you are! Merwin, ooh, ooh, updated sprite, okay. Big boy. Mer well, he was already a big boy. He get bigger. <laughs> Merwin quickly walks over to us, waving as if we couldn't see him already. <laughs> okay. Merrick, I thought you would have been back by now. What took so long? Me? Doc, you're one to talk. I had to completely restructure my day because of you. Um, right, sorry about that, I was... Uh, well, preoccupied. But I, I wanted to come in by and see you. And, well, I apologize. Covering his mouth and looking away, he seems genuinely upset. I feel bad for him, but I'm thankful that he knows that he, that he upset me. Rius, I'm sorry that I was pulled away yesterday. I believe I've said before that my schedule is a bit... Well, sometimes it's dictated by things outside of my control, but I'll try to manage it better for you in the future. Of course, Marilyn. But it's okay, really. Please don't feel bad. Words try to escape his mouth, but they all crumble and fail to materialize. Looking away, he rubs the back of his head and puts a massive paw into his pocket before... Oh, here! As an apology! He pulls a closed paw out and rests it in front of me. I don't quite follow, but I place my hand under his until he drops something into it. Something cold and metallic and rectangular and... My phone! Wait, can I have this back? Uh, tears done with it? Yes. I knew it was important to you, so I... Well, I may have encouraged him to finish working on it sooner. And I had him make some improvements to it. Try tapping the button. Try tapping the top. He points to where the camera should be, and I see that there's something attached to it. When I tap it, however, a monitor screen pops out of my phone. I almost have to stop myself from dropping it. What? How'd you do this? I didn't do anything. Huh. Here, just quickly threw that together for you, so if it doesn't work like how you want it to, let me know. Merwin, I... thank you. Of course, Rius. Oh, and one last thing. I took the liberty of inputting our contacts into it, so if you ever needed to mess message us, it should work. Hey, Doc, when you say our contact... Yes and yes, Merwin. Mer... I gave Rius your number as well. You could've asked first. Hm, that's fine. I would've given it to him anyways. Well, that's great and all, but I'm gonna head to the cafeteria before it closes. You good with Rias here, Doc? Oh, hmm? Oh, yes. I'll message you a list. Please pick it up if you can. Mm, yeah, yeah, what am I, a goddamn waiter? I swear, sometimes. Alright, y'all, I'm actually gonna pause it right there. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Alrighty, I love you all, and I shall see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye!